Hey guys, Cal here. So now that you've built your Tetrix or Matrix Ranger bot, you're probably wondering, how do I program these? Well, that's what we're going to learn how to do today. So let's go on over to RoboatC and learn how to program the joystick. Alright, so once in RoboatC, we have to go to File, New, New File, and I'll create a new file with already our task main in it. Task main is basically the first thing that runs when the program starts. Uh, but first, we want to set up our robot. So we have to go to Robot Motor and Sensor Setup. Now, each robot's going to be different, but for the Ranger Tetrix box, bot, we want to click Standard Tetrix Configuration. And then go over to Motors tab, and we see we have two motors available. Motor D will be our left motor, and Motor E will be our right motor. And since one, since each of these motors is a mirror image of each other, we're going to have to reverse one of them, so we can reverse the left motor, and that'll make it. That'll make it. Now, if we want to do the matrix bot, we have to click standard matrix configuration, and then we see motor F and motor G, which are not used for the matrix bot, and we still have to reverse the left motor. But it's basically the same thing, just a different check mark over here. We can ignore the other tabs for now and just click OK. And it will generate this code. We do not have to touch this code and just leave it up there. All right, so now to begin programming our robot, what we want to do first is since we're going to be using joystick control, we have to include a driver. Now, a driver is a list of methods that are already made for us, so we don't have to retype them. Now, what we can do is we can just do include quotation joystick driver.c. And that's all we need to do and then we can use the joystick. So in our task main, we want to loop indefinitely because we always want this program to be running. We don't want it to stop until until we receive a stop signal from the field control system. So we have to do while true. And that'll be this is basically an infinite loop. Inside here, what we first want to do is want to update the joystick to what the per, what the controller is pressing. So to do that, we type get joystick settings joystick and that allows us to uh, get the joystick settings pretty much now to actually control the robot we just type motor and then whatever motor we want to control so left motor in this case equals whatever we want it to be this is a this is a number from negative 100 to 100 negative 100 would be full power backwards 100 would be full power forwards you can do any number in between and zero to stop so for the for tank drive, which is the basic controls that we want to be using, uh, we want the left motor to be equal to the left joystick. So to do that, we type joystick dot joy one underscore y one, and the joystick values are number from negative one hundred twenty eight to one hundred twenty seven positive. But like I said, the motor values are negative one hundred to one hundred. So what we want to do here is multiply this by one hundred over one hundred twenty seven. And that will get us as close to a negative 100 to 100 values we can get. Now, we can just type the same thing for the right motor. And instead of the uh, joy1 underscore y1, it will be joy1 underscore y2, which will be the second joystick. And we, but again, it's the same value, so we have to multiply it by 1 over 100 over 127. Now, there's a slight problem with this in that when you when the joysticks aren't pressing anything um, it'll be some low number like it, it's not going to be at zero exactly it'll be maybe at one or two but it'll still make the motors move which can be a problem and get annoying so what we want to do is come on that is we want to create what's called a dead zone which is basically when the joysticks in between a certain value that it's close enough to zero we'll just treat it as zero so what we want to say is if we want to say if the joystick is greater than 10 or less than negative 10 which means it's outside the dead zone, uh, which is otherwise known as the absolute value of that joystick value. In this case, joystick dot joy one underscore y one is greater than ten. Then we want to run this code, and then if it's not doing that, so we type else. We just want to uh, set the motor to zero. So in that case, if, if it's in that dead zone, we just want to treat it as it being zero. And we can type the same thing for the right motor. So joystick.joy1 underscore y2 is greater than 10. 
uh, motor right motor blah 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 and then we can type else just treat it as zero all right so once we're done with that that should be entire code this should run correctly with the joysticks what we want to do is we want to save the file and then robot pile and download program to a robot so let's go over to the robot and see how it runs So as you can see, the joystick program that we wrote works perfectly and yours will work as well. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.